you need to develop, market, hone your personal brand. Why do you buy a brand? You buy a brand over the generic because you trust it usually. Because it has a cachet about it sometimes, like a little polo person on a t-shirt. Because you trust it. Because it's been marketed well. Because you've been made to believe you can't live without this. Well, you are a brand. And you need to create that brand and sell it in the marketplace. And that marketplace is called work. Now, I have, an, I have uh, something that I called ways women can widen their wallets, okay? And the wallet is really an acronym for how do you brand yourself. And the first thing you do, the W is, you write it down. There's something about committing your brand to writing that makes it real. So when I do half-day workshops with women, that's one of the exercises we do. I say, in 25 words or less, I want you to write down what you want people to be saying about you when you walk out of a room. I want you to write it down. What do you want them to be saying about you? It makes it real. The A stands for you need to act on that vision statement for yourself. So it's not enough that I write down, when I walk out of a room, I want people to say, I'm confident, I'm calm, collected, truthful, that's not enough. Okay, it's not enough to write that down because all of those characteristics can't be seen through the eye of a video camera. That's what you have to think about, is that if the video camera can't see it, then neither can the people you're trying to sell your brand to. So let me give an example. I may say, when I walk out of a room, I want people to say she's confident. Well, what behaviors have to go along with that? Speak loudly, have data, right? Be able to look people in the eye. Those are things that the camera can see. And if the camera can see it, then I can sell it, okay? So the A stands for act on it, make it actionable. The first L stands for look to the edge. That brands that are edgy often win out. And I've already talked to you about the fact that there's a playing field and you've got to play on the edge. So don't make your brand too safe or you're not going to win the game. Okay? You need to look to the edge, be playing your game at the edge, marketing your brand at the edge. Second L stands for let others know about it. It does no good if you know you're doing all these things, but nobody else does. Women tend not to market themselves and let other people know their accomplishments as much as men do. You know, men can be very matter-of-fact about it. You know, you ask a man, what did he, he accomplish in the past year? You know, and he'll make himself sound like, you know, uh, Thomas Edison, right? <laughs> you know, he'll make himself sound as if he created the light bulb. You ask a woman, and she will often be overly modest. So you need to let others know what you're capable of. When you achieve something great, you need to let others know it. Let me give you an example. Uh, I was at a cocktail party at Warner Books when my book first came out. I was speaking with this woman, and I asked her, what do you do? And she said, uh, I work in the publicity department. I said, oh, that's great. You know, I've gotten a lot of good publicity. I really appreciate it. And then I walked away, and I talked to somebody else, and then my publicist actually walked up, and she said, I saw you speaking with my boss. And I said, who is your boss? And she said, it was that woman over there. It was the woman who said, I work in publicity. So she said, you know, that's my boss. She's the one who got you on the Today Show. And I go, man, this woman missed an opportunity. <laughs> because some people say to me, well, what did you expect her to say? I said, you know what? If you're the vice president of publicity and you got me on the Today Show, that's something you should be selling. And all she had to do when I said, and who are you and what do you do for Warner? She could have said, I'm the vice president of publicity and I'm very p proud that my team and I were able to secure your spot on the Today Show so that your book gets the kind of publicity it deserves.